You know, as we get older, things change, some for the worse, some for the better. Like Frederick, Oklahoma. When I was growing up here as a kid, this place was a furniture store. And to say this store has changed, well, that's an understatement. Longtime Frederick businessman Bill Crawford has done some serious haunting over the last 40 years. When his new daughter-in-law married in, she was a little overwhelmed. In about 2003, realized that we had our home, had their home filled up, and banks and offices, and we still had some animals here in storage, and decided that that, that wasn't the proper treatment of the animals, that they deserve to be out, other people deserve to get to see those animals, otherwise what's the point? Each of these 200 or so animals sparks its own conversation, maybe this one more than others. This is not something you typically hunt. Unfortunately, this guy was curled up in a tree very near, near the river area where the women were doing laundry. They were taking care of their kids, and this python could probably make a meal out of a small child. So um, they asked Bill as the hunter to come and, and take care of this snake, and so he did, and, and the government allowed us to bring it back as a trophy animal because of that, but it fed their community that night. Um, he was a great hero to them, and it was, it was a big celebration to that community because kind of a menace to them had been taken care of, and it makes for great conversation around here as well. Now, you probably won't run into a python here in Tillman County, but it's quite possible you'll see locals like these. And a road trip outside the state might put you in the territory of these guys. The bears are a big feature for us. You know, when you walk in the door, they're the first thing you see and, and they garner the biggest wow factor for us. A lot of the kids love to put their hands next to the claws. Besides regular tourists, the collection gets almost a thousand students per year through these doors. And that's perhaps its most important mission. They can come in here and stand next to an animal from Africa. They can look at our display and see the grass or the vegetation and know that's what it looks like in Cameroon, Africa. And that opens up a whole world to them that they would never know existed. When you read a book, you can read about the animal and, it, and the book tells you about it or even on television. But when you come in here, you put your body next to it and you can tell the difference in size. And that doesn't always come across in a book or in television. It still is amazing to me. I, you know, all these years later, we're lucky to get to show people what our little small town has to offer them. In Frederick, discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown.